Hello, can you see me and hear me? If you can let me know in the comments if you see me and hear me. Let me see. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. Wonderful. Hello, everybody. I am looking forward to do this. Um, so this live, the idea is to tell you about the new edition of 25 Days of Dax Fridays Challenge, the second edition. And if you want, you can start preparing for it. This challenge will start on Monday. Okay. So, uh, you won't be seeing any questions until Monday, but if you want to prepare the data set, you can do it during the weekend. Okay, so first of all, if you go to corbel.com and then you go to resources and 25 days challenge, you will find both challenges. If you haven't taken the challenge before, I recommend you to start with the original one, the, this one, just because it's a, lot, a bit easier than what we're going to do today. It's not difficult, the new edition, but still, I recommend you to start from the old one, the old one. Um, if you have done the old one and you're here for the new one, so what you do is you click in here, and I have prepared instructions for how to play. <laughs> hopefully, 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 I get it right this time. The last time it was not bad, but it was not perfect, so hopefully I'm doing a better job now. <laughs> First of all, the uh, data set. Here's the thing. I am a true believer that if you have fun while learning, you learn better, you learn faster, and you put more emphasis into it and more time. So this time, the data set is not going to be a business data set. It's going to be a sports data set. It's going to be about the World Cup. You know that the World Cup is coming up in November. So we're going to find all types of stats about historical data for the World Cup. So hopefully there's something that you enjoy and then you will think that it's like fun to do. Oh yeah, yeah, I have to show my screen, thank you. <laughs> cool, not that one, how about that one? That one, perfect, okay. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. So again, let me show you because I didn't show my screen. You go to um resources 25 days of dax 25 days of dax fridays challenge you will find both challenges here this is the original this is the old one and if you click here it'll take you to the instructions for the new one i try to keep the instructions as short as possible but yeah they are not very short sorry but they, they had to be long. i actually had eva and bernard help me you know go through questions and help me the text to see that everything was okay. So hopefully it is clear how to play. Um, okay, so let's jump into it. Again, if you're new, I recommend you to get the first edition first. And then you have here a table of contents in case that you want to jump to, for example, the leaderboard form if you want to put your answer or you want to just get the question. So, so you, have, you can jump to places in here quickly. But for now, we're going to scroll through the challenge. First one, this video is what we're recording now, so it will be live. So if you haven't seen this recording, you can check it out and get all the details for the challenge. And the changes from the previous challenge is that instead of doing Monday to Sunday, which was insane, we're going to do Monday to Friday. I actually had a poll in Twitter, in LinkedIn, and on YouTube, and it was 50-50. 50% of you wanted to have Monday to Friday, 50% of you wanted to have once a week. The thing with once a week is it doesn't really, it's not really a challenge, right? It's more like a learning pace. So I thought like, how about we do both? So we are going to, I'm going to run this as a challenge Monday to Friday for, you will see here, five weeks. And those of you that want to take it at a slower pace can join me every Friday and I will un unveil a solution 
the official solution or one of the solutions basically for solving the question and you can learn with me okay so you have the possibility either to take it as a challenge 25 days or do it one friday each cool now every day at 2 p.m the same day as i post my youtube videos so it's 2 p.m. GMT plus 2 at the moment. I probably is going to change very soon. So it's going to uh, appear a new question here. It will start on Monday, okay? But you can prepare the data set now. So on Monday, the day one will be unveiled. Tuesday, day two, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now, how do you participate? The first thing that we need is data, right? We need to have some cool data. Here's the thing. I found... This wonderful man, where I'm going to go to GitHub, and we have this lovely young man here that created a data set for all the World Cups historical data, and it includes absolutely everything. It's really, really wonderful. He shares these under Creative Commons, which means that you know we are able to share and distribute, but you need to give them to give him credit. So if you plan to reuse this elsewhere, please feel free but make sure that you give him credit because he did an amazing job. So here you will have all the information about the database. It has everything that you can wish for regarding the World Cup. So you have tournaments, confederations, teams, players, managers, awards, qualified teams, it's everything, goals, penalties, it's so, so cool. And to make the challenge a little bit more real life test, this time I'm not going to give you the Power BI file. You have to create it the same way as I did. Okay, so for every question that comes, you will have to come in here and figure out what table do you need to actually answer the question. And you will build your model yourself. Every Friday, I will build a model for, with, together with you in case you get stuck. And there's also other help to get, so don't worry about that. So. You need to come here and get the data. Um, I have actually a tutorial on how to get data from GitHub, so it actually refreshes. If you don't know how to do it, just come here and get it. Is this get COVID data, right? But you will get the GitHub data from this wonderful man, okay? Here's the thing. Bernard had a good question to me. He said, Ruth, what happens if he changes something in the uh, data set because it's an online data set you can actually go in and remove a table at a table or hopefully not remove anything you probably will add so we need to connect to the data set live this is like real life data sets right you need to connect live to be able to get new data when it comes so i am connecting to it live and the answers that will be given here are actually answered live so there is a dax function that will return the actual when you know when the day comes you will get here the answer to it so uh, you need to refresh the database this time also but if you connect live and then you refresh the data set and you have the DAX in there it will give you the right solution and both our solutions will match okay now if you're thinking about cheating i have to tell you this if you google the questions you probably will not get the right answer because there are some years missing in his database and you're probably not going to get it right. So what I'm looking for is not the true answer, but the answer that comes from this database. And in some places, they, for example, join Germany with, with Germany. He doesn't do it. So make sure that you do the DAX to get the answer correctly, okay? Cool. So you can actually start building the database if you want here. You can go to GitHub. He has CSVs. JSON, he has a database. So you can just grab the database if you want to. It's up to you how you do it. So many, many ways to do it. What tools can you use to do this? So we have Power BI, obviously. You have Excel. Uh, and then Bernard was telling me like, hey, what about tabular editor and DAX studio? Any tool that you wish you can use. I don't mind. The only thing that we want with these challenges, learn DAX and have fun doing it, right? So 
any tool that you like, just that you're able to write back and get the result back. That's all. And then if you're watching this in a recorded forum and you think like, oh my God, it's gone two days and I haven't joined the challenge, can I join it? Of course you can. Just to start by the day that you join so you can actually join the challenge and then you can backtrack the questions that you haven't done yet. So no problem. Now, the same as before, if you have an answer, scream it, tweet it, link, put it on LinkedIn, but please put only the answer. Don't put the DAX because otherwise you are going to, you know, spoil it for other people. There will be places where you can share your DAX, two places, I'll show you in a second. But tweet it with 25 days of DAX Fridays, and then you can add me because we didn't do it the last time and I missed like 50% of all the answers. So if you want me to see it, you need to add me because otherwise I won't see it. I tried to follow the hashtag, but it was just a big mess. <laughs> I couldn't really do it. So what happens if you are participating and you get stuck? Before you were actually asking questions a little bit on Twitter, a little bit on YouTube. Um, it was a little bit hard to you know, find the, the place where to actually give support. This time around, I created a, you can click it in here, a Kerbal Reddit community, right? So it's just a Reddit community. You have the link there. And every single day, a new post will appear with posts for day one, posts for day two, posts for day three. And then you can go and ask your questions there. You can say, hey, I got this far, but I cannot remove the country filter or this gives me this answer, and Ruth said it was that one, the answer. What, what am I doing wrong? So Bernard and I will be here helping you, but obviously our time is limited, so please help yourself. So if you come in here and you see that somebody is stuck, jump in. There, there's no reason why we shouldn't help each other or why you would have to wait for me or Bernard to actually say something. If there's anybody that wants to also be a moderator, just let me know because why not? It would be very cool if we can help each other. Okay. So here is the place to ask for questions and to post a DAX if you want. I don't think it minds if you do it here. So here we have Bernard that we, I've been talking all the time about him. You know him probably. I'm not sure if he's here. Probably not. I think he was busy. So he is going to be the moderator and he's going to help me um, make this happen. But again, we have limited time, so be mindful with that. Have fun, right? That's the idea of this, learning and having fun. And then once you have the answer, the same as before, you can submit your answer and track it. The difference between now and the previous edition is that this time I planned it from the beginning. On edition one, somebody told me on day two, like, hey, well, how about we track the questions? <laughs> and it was a big mess to make everything work. Now, hopefully, this time I prepare for it and we're good to go. So there are a few things that are important. I'm using a Microsoft forum to track the answers. It's down here. And the same time as before, there's no way to actually track usernames. You cannot log in. So make sure that you go into our results here and check your username, right? So if you find that username that, oh, I would like to take that, come here and see if he's taken. Because if he's taken and you submit two answers, I'm going to dedupe them randomly. And then you will never know which one is which one, okay? So check that the username is not taken and then go for it. Next. We need to have some rules on how to submit the answers. It has to be done because I'm not actually manually correcting this. Power BI is doing it for me. So I have a forum where I have the solutions with DAX, and then they are being checked against whatever you put on the forum. Then you will get the one or a zero if it matches or if it doesn't. So if it doesn't, then you will get a zero. And maybe you're, it's not much. The, the, answer is correct, but the way you enter it is not, and that would be a shame. So there are a few simple rules to get this correctly. Now, I'm going to ask you about countries, players, matches. I'm going to ask you about number of goals, number of years. 
So these are the rules for country, player, and match. You need to sort the result alphabetically, okay? And then you need to sort alphabetically by country, when I'm asking for country, obviously, by player, sort alphabetically by given name. That is the first name. So you have first name and last name. So they call it family name of the database by given name. That's the one that you need to sort by. Match alphabetically. And then if you have a number, like, I don't know, 12 years and 24 years, then you have the 12 first and then the 24, okay, in that order. And that's how you enter it. Then if you have more than one, that you probably, you're going to find that, that sometimes you get more than one. So it says, okay, um, how many countries won the World Cup three times? And then it will be, I don't know, say Spain and uh, Sweden. So you write the Spain, comma, space, and then Sweden. Okay, that's, that's the syntax that you need to enter so it gets matched. If it is years, you write X years, comma, space, whatever years. Same with goals, same with players. Players, you have the given name and then space family name because a player could be, can have the same name in different places, right? So we need to identify him uniquely. And then if I'm asking you for tournaments, you need to put, this is the syntax that is used on the database for a tournament. So you just need to grab that and then again, comma space the next tournament if there's more than one. And the same with teams and matches. So it's, it's always the same my space, right? And for the leaderboard, it looks quite similar to the other one. So first, the day. Then you write the answer that you have, like 16 goals, 12 goals. No, sorry. I'm breaking my own rules already. Rude. Like that, okay? So I send it a small first. And then I would like to for you to tell me if you thought that the, it was a very difficult question or a very easy question. It helps me if, if I decide to do a new challenge to see that I have a good balance between easy and difficult. For me, it's very difficult to understand if something is difficult or not. So it's better if you tell me. And then I will have an idea for the next challenge so I can balance it better in case I have too many, too difficult or whatever it could be. Here you can share the DAX, please do, because I will do the same as edition one. I will collect all the DAX and then give it back to you. And then uh, here is the username if you're one person playing. Here is the team name if you're a group of people playing, because I heard that some people want to do it together, like at work. So you will have your team's name in here, right? And then you just submit and then it will get refreshed, like, I have only a prayer account, so I think it's going to get refreshed like eight times a day. And then you will see here what other people answered. And this is going to be cool because it will give you an idea if you're getting it right or not before you actually go the next day and you get the answer. So this is going to work the same way as edition one. Question for day one will appear on day one. Answer for day one will appear on day two. And then a new question. Okay, so exactly the same. And then every Friday, I will go through the process, create the data set, answer the question, and then we will start building the solution videos for you. If you share your DAX and I see a solution that is a lot easier than mine, I will use that too. So I don't have to just use my solutions. You had really, really cool DAX on edition one. So it would be really cool to showcase it. Obviously, I will tell you uh, who made the DAX if uh, it gets your case in the channel. Oh my God, I spoke a ton. Hi, Brennan. We've been talking about you <laughs> all the time. Let me see. There you have him. So collect all the ducks. Oh my God, <laughs> what did I do now? <laughs> so, uh, let's see, questions. Uh, no power query transformations permitted, only pure DAX. Well, that's a fair question. Here's the thing, you, 
you can't use Power Query. Why not? Use Power Query, and then obviously you will need to use DAX at some point to do the final calculation. So yes, you can use Power Query. You can use also calculate columns if you need it, but they shouldn't be needed. Well, maybe you will need, you could use calculate column here and there, but yes, do it. No problem. Uh, let me see. Will you bring over something about forecasting with that? It could be cool actually to forecast the who is going to play to win the, the World Cup, but no time, unfortunately. Uh, do you have any questions? Is there anything that isn't clear? To summarize it is Monday to Friday is going to appear a new question solution day after 2 p.m. Swedish time, which is EMT plus two at the moment. It will change in October. Uh, it will run for five weeks. You have here the, here it is, here is the, um, the form where the new questions will arise. You need to build the data set yourself using GitHub. Make sure that you connect live to it. Okay, so in case he changes something, I will refresh it automatically. So you should do two to match the, the answers. And uh, share your uh, answers. I'm looking forward to see what you answer. It was really, really fun to follow the last time. If you are stuck, join the uh, uh, Karma community and on Reddit and go and ask questions there. You will be getting help from me and Bernard. And uh, yeah, you need to think about the rules if you're going to enter the challenge and uh, make sure that you sort them and then you have the right format. And this year, I would like to give a present to those that win. I haven't decided yet what it will be, but something cool, hopefully. Okay. So that's all for me. If you don't have any questions, we can, you know, finish the live so you can go and run and get the data set. I think it's going to be super, super fun. So it looks like you're enjoying the idea of the data set. That's cool. I was a bit worried. Maybe you wanted to have like a business data set. Oh, where you get the challenge information. Yes, sorry. Let's go back one more time. So you go to curbal.com and then you go to resources and then 25 days of DAX, 25 days challenge. You will get both challenges here. And then you need to go down for the second edition here and then click there. Okay. And that will take you to all the information you need about the challenge. Everything that I've been talking about is down here. So if there's something that isn't clear, please let me know, right? So I will make sure to make the changes as soon as possible. And I will have this link on the YouTube video, on the live, and I will put it on the comment on LinkedIn too, so you can see it, okay? So the link for the challenge will be, you can see it here is, I think the easiest way is to go to 25 days challenge and then go to this one is going, I will change the announcement soon and then click here to enter the challenge. I'm also going to put it in here, in this banner up here. So when you go to curva.com, you can just get it, right? So I think it's probably the easiest. Oh, just you join uh, Reddit? Yeah, probably I should put a link on Reddit. So many things to think about. Oh, it is here. Cool. Announcing the 25 days of that Friday. So if you're on Reddit, just go there and grab the link. It's on there. Hello, Brian. Ho hopefully you will join it and then you can do an analysis on the data again. So who do you think will win the World Cup? Who do I think will win or who do I wish will win? Because <laughs> it's probably a different one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I would, I, I would love, obviously, for Spain to win. No question, but not sure that they will. No. I've been going through the data set, and it was a long time ago. 
there are some cool facts in there. Yeah, you're going to have fun. I'm sure. <laughs> How can I get this advent calendar? I will try to find in the first challenge and I cut it. Yeah, so the calendar is on curval.com. So you go in here. So sorry, here on the actual challenge page. And then here, calendar. It'll take you right to the Power BI file where you can play, okay? And then it will update automatically and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully that helps. Curval.com, okay? Yes, definitely. You will be able to rewatch these. Um, you have all the information on Curval.com, so you can just go and check it out. Uh, that we have. Any suggestion on doing live connection with the data set using Power BI? I don't have a live connection. I do have a scheduled connection. For a live connection, probably you need to move it to a database that allows for live connection. So you, at some, um, I don't know how much that would sense because you need to schedule it to the database that you would live connect to. So yeah, I don't. You cannot do live connections to um, to GitHub. Not that I know, at least. Oh, so you think Uruguay is going to win? There are some cool stats about Uruguay. You'll see. I know all the weird stuff about World Cup now. <laughs> Sport-related data is so much fun. You have an American guest version to succeed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> cool. Yeah, exactly. España. Yes. I don't think they'll win though, but I would love Brazil. Yeah, Brazil, Italy, you know, they're like super big in the World Cup, for sure. Mike for and I, <laughs> cool. Do you share please when it's done? How long on average do you think it would take to solve each challenge? Good question. Here's the thing, difficult for me to say, uh, but some of the questions I think they are easy. There are a few, like two or three, that are tough. If you remember, I don't know if you did the edition one, but there were some questions there that were a bit tough. And this is the same thing. So I think there are like three, four that it will take you a bit longer. The rest you should be solving fairly quickly, but it depends on the level of DAX that you have. So difficult to difficult to say. I know that I have different people looking at the questions. One said that it was not very difficult. The other one said it was very difficult. So I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. But please do when you are answering or giving the answers on the forum on the Microsoft forum. I would truly appreciate if you tell me so how difficult you think the question was, because if there will be an edition three, then I will be more mindful of you know the level that you guys have and try to balance it out in case it is too difficult. I don't want it to be too difficult. I want to be balanced. So it's supposed to be a challenge, right? It's supposed to challenge you so you can learn more. So if it's too easy, there's no point. But it shouldn't be be too hard, at least not all the time. So hopefully I answered the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can do that for sure. I, we're not going to have any time intelligence in this challenge so uh, but I will do what I'm thinking the format for the edition two will be for the video solution is going to be the same as for edition one, which means that first we will find the answer, and then we will look for how to do it in DAX. So, uh, you know, it makes sense. If you've seen it, the edition one, you probably understand what I mean. So, yeah, it's going to be exactly the same. Hopefully, you, uh, it will make sense, the DAX that I introduce you. I'm looking forward to showcase your DAX, actually, if now you have the possibility to enter the DAX beforehand and show it. So, yeah, 
I hope that I answer your questions. I'm looking at the question uh, forum. So, so if there is nothing else, I am looking forward to hear what you think. Go and check out the database. The data set is super, super cool. Give this guy a, a star or whatever you do in GitHub because <laughs> the job he did is amazing. And I want to give you uh, something that I used all the time throughout the challenge and is this code book. It's really, really useful. So it is basically the documentation for the entire database. So you can actually search. I found this super useful. So I said, oh, I want to know about standing. So I could search and it would tell me which table to actually get because I did not import all the tables and create a model. I, you know, build it as I need it. And this code play is very, very good for useful. It tells you what it is, it tells you what it means, and it's searchable. So do use that. I found it very, very useful. Yes, it could. So you need to do the same as I did, and is to have connect live to the data source, and then you need to have a DAX, you know, the DAX um, live uh, version of it. So in my forum, in this forum that you see here, let's go up. In this forum, when you go to day one here, there is a DAX function that is calculating based on the live data. Okay, so it might change. So you need to refresh your data set to see what the new DAX answer will be in case that you don't see matching. It's not very difficult to connect live. Again, there is a this get COVID data tutorial that explains how to get uh, data from GitHub and how to schedule refresh it. Okay, so you can follow the steps with this world cup data set and then you will have live connection it's very very easy so don't worry about that oh cool so cool to hear it, it actually helped me also understand that a lot better i really enjoyed it actually and we have a lot of possibilities if you enjoy this data set to do more because you can ask a million and one questions about, you know, World Cup data. So, yeah, it's so, so cool. Uh, do you need, no, I don't think so. I don't think you need an account. You can just grab the data publicly without having an account. If for whatever reason you would have a problem getting the data set, I do have a copy of the data set that I downloaded. So we would, could always revert back to that and they say, okay, the, download this CSV file. But I think it's useful to have these as close as live work, if you would think like that. So normally if you get a job, you you know, you have to connect to the live data, you have to schedule refresh it, you have to think about the model, you have to build the model, do the DAX, so I wanted this experience to be a little bit like doing a mini project for real. So obviously I, I have a Power BI file, I can give it to you, but it will take away half of the job of being a data analyst. And I thought it would be cool that you get the entire experience of what it means to get the data, to schedule refresh it, to make sure that you know it's refreshed all the time to do the DAX, to do the modeling, what tables should I use? So you get everything in one package. If it proves too difficult, again, I do have a file. I can make it available for those of you that need it. And in addition three, if there will be one, I can go back to you know giving you the stuff already. But let's try this way. I think it would be interesting to see what you think and if, how hard or easy you find it. Hi, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't thought I was going to do it, actually. It was too hard to do the first time around. But by doing it Monday to Friday, and by me not having to create the 25 videos at once, um, you know, it makes it a lot easier. Now that Bernard and Eva is going to help me, it makes everything a lot easier, too. 
so yeah, that's why I, <laughs> I thought that. And also I found the database, you know, the, this is a World Cup data set, which is really, really good. So I thought, like, hey, you, it's going to be football fever soon. Let's jump on it. Yeah. Will you post a question in the calendar or in YouTube? Yeah, okay. So the question will show up here, only here on, let's go, on these 25 days. Uh, this is a Power BI embed, you can see. You can actually make it bigger. So this is a Power BI embed file. You need to go to curva.com and then you need to go to the DAX, maybe it's not an advent calendar. Maybe I should change it. <laughs> maybe I should put, get your question here. So you, you need to come here to get the new question, right? There will be, though, on Reddit, every day a new post will show up with the question and also on Twitter and on LinkedIn. So the questions you will get, but if you want to have the answer, you need to come here to get it because there's not going to be anywhere else. What well, people would probably tweet it, but you don't know if it is the correct answer or not. So hopefully that answers your question. I'm not sure if I can embed a Power BI file on Reddit. Definitely not on Twitter, not on LinkedIn either. So there's not many places that you I can put it that you can have access to, not on YouTube either. So it has to be on a web page for you to access it. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind to put it in different places at all. So, yeah, I think that we have covered all the questions. So I wait two minutes more in case you have any more questions, otherwise we will um, stop the live and give you time to play with the data set because on Monday, it's coming, the first question. My video feed keeps looping back to start or another part of the live session. I need to refresh the good. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if the, if anybody else is having problems, just let Darren know. I'm not sure if it's happening to other people. Maybe when you go later into the live and I am streaming to LinkedIn on YouTube, it could be that maybe that also is causing the problem, I'm not sure. It seems that it is a problem, so sorry, but you know, as soon as I end the live, you will be able to watch it normally, right? You will be able to go back and then see everything. And I will put chapters on like rules for the leatherboard. Here is where you find the questions. Here is so you can just go through the video quickly and find what you need. Otherwise, you have it here again on curval.com on the 25 days of challenge is called here. And then here you have all the instructions, everything, how to participate, how to get help, how to get answers, the rules, the forum for getting answers, seeing the results. And then the solutions videos. There's no solution video yet. The first one will come next Friday. Okay. Oh, you're not having the problem. Okay. Okay. So um, I don't know, Daryl. It is fine on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe it's because you're watching it on LinkedIn that they might be some delaying issues or something. Yeah. There is actually a 10 second delay when streaming to LinkedIn. So that might be the reason why you're you know, like hopping back in the past. Uh, yeah, it seems to be a LinkedIn issue. Yeah, sorry about that. Yes, so the video will get recorded and will be available on YouTube and it will be available here. So what you see here is the live video that we're playing now. So as soon as I press stop, then you will be able to rewatch everything and again I will put chapters so you will be able to jump to the important uh, fragments of the video quickly yeah exactly okay so any other question that you want to ask to me before 
you can ask me any question at any time. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, for the challenge, is probably the best way is to do it on Reddit. Just you know, go there and ask questions. I, I cannot create a post that will be like general questions about the challenge, and then you let me know. But yeah, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, I probably should link just to the video. That's a good the feedback. So you don't get, um, yeah, so you don't wonder about which video to watch for sure. So we'll change the link so it goes to YouTube and just to get COVID data. But instead of get COVID data, obviously you will get the uh, workup data instead. And make sure you, you again, <laughs> you say thank you to this uh, young man. It's so cool what he did. I think it was part of his PhD or something. So, any more questions before we start the weekend at this side of the world? I know that on the other side of the world, you're starting the week, starting the day, but it, for us, it's soon going to be over. Thank you. Looking forward to see how you get on with the challenge. If you have any problems, just speak me and I'll try to fix them. And hopefully this will be a smoother ride than it was the first time. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. It looks like we have all the information. So I will see you again next week with a Power BI video as always. Until then, enjoy your weekend. Check the world data data set is so, so cool. <laughs> Well, uh, no, I can't <laughs> because it, not because I can't. I do. I can't. But everything is scheduled to the T, right? So you will not be able to enter the answer. You will not be. Able, everything is like automatically programmed to run by itself. If I do something that goes outside that. I have no clue of what problems I'm going to get into. I'm sorry, but play with the data set. I recommend you this, you know, to download the data set into Power BI. It will take you some time to read the code book, to read these notes for the data set. There's a lot of information to be understood before, and that will keep you busy during the weekend, hopefully. But I, I, I don't dare to. Well, I could say it, you know, right now, but let's wait on Monday. I think it's better. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, my dears. Cool. Looking forward to see what you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sweating. You know, it was tough. It was tough for me at the first this year. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, exactly. Oh my god, I'm really hoping that this is going to be easier on on you and on me. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> okay, I have a hard stop at three o'clock, which is my time on fifteen minutes. So I'm going to leave you. Thank you very much for joining me. Looking forward to what you do with the challenge, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, Joel. Bye.